have a tour, you have to wake up like at about 11 o'clock. You're on stage by 2.30, which is different. I mean, when you do a regular tour, you get up at about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon and... Just comfortably eat and everything, you just kind of hang out yeah. and then get, you know, practice for a while, do the show, stuff like that. This is like a real quick thing. Up at noon, then on stage two hours later, it's like... It's, it's a, like a weird catch-22 because if you get too late to sleep and you don't get enough sleep, you feel like beep, you know, during the day and you play less. But if you get a lot of sleep, you know, get 10 hours of sleep, which has happened a couple of times, you wake up and you feel like really groggy for the first kind of first couple hours because you've slept so much. So it's like it's a no matter what happens, you lose. On this tour, I've gotten more sun than I have in the last two years. <laughs> I'm excited, extra excited about this thing, you know. Every show means so much, you know, it's like, charge, this huge charge. It has to be that way, the kids are expecting that, the kids are expecting so much. They've seen us in two years, they're expecting us to just kill them. The state of Malik Metallica's new album, And Justice For All, is fast approaching. The album lasts an hour and five minutes and includes nine songs, but the guys swear it is not a concept album. Meanwhile, Metallica's performance on Van Halen's Monsters of Rock tour is one of the highlights, and furthermore, they're reportedly selling more t-shirts than any of the other acts. After the Monsters tour, Metallica will tour Europe and then come back to the States in November. The inside word is that Queensryche will be opening up. In the meantime, RIP Magazine has just put out an issue devoted entirely to Metallica. It's got a pull-out poster, tons of rare facts, Metallica photos, and a special section on the late Cliff Burton. The issue is on newsstands now. The next hour in the Metal Detector, Van Halen take a break from the Monsters tour. Remember, this is Monsters of Rock Weekend right here on MTV. So starting right after the Headbangers Ball and all day Sunday, you can hang out with all the Monsters. Kingdom Come, Metallica, Dawkins, Scorps, uh, and Van Halen on and off the stage. You'll get Death Angel debut in the top ten with Frolic Through the Park. Ram It Down from Judas Priest drops to number eight. At number seven, Poison with Open Up and Say Ah. Savage Amusement slides the Scorpions down to number six. King Diamond's Them debuts at number five. At number four, the Leopards hold fast with Hysteria. Striper enters at number three with In God We Trust. Number two remains the spot for OU812 from the leading monsters Van Halen. And remaining at number one, LA's favorite bad boys, Guns N' Roses with Appetite for Destruction. Right now, here's a band whose bass player, Tony Cavazzo, helped write Bang Your Head with ex-Quiet Riot vocalist Kevin Dubrow. A hurricane just kicked off their tour tonight in St. Louis with King's X. Here's I'm on... <laughs>